Believers attend a Pentecost Mass at the Church of Christ on May 20, 2018, in Mbandika, northwest of DR Congo. Junior D. Kana, AFP via Getty Images churches across the United States and elsewhere are observing Pentecost Sunday, referred to as the birthday of the church. It's a day that, for many Christians, is as significant as Christmas and Easter. On Pentecost Sunday, which comes 50 days after Easter and hence the name, Pentecost, which is a Greek word for, 50, some churches use red color as the theme for decoration to symbolize the fire and joy of the Holy Spirit as they commemorate the coming of the Spirit on the early followers of Jesus. Acts chapter 2 verses 1 to 4 records, when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Many see the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the disciples of Jesus on the first Pentecost as the birth of the church. Before his ascension, Jesus instructed his disciples not to leave Jerusalem but wait for the gift my father promised. He added that they would receive power and be his witnesses in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the world when the Holy Spirit came on them, according to Acts chapter 1 verse 4, 8. This came true on the day of Pentecost. What happened on the first Pentecost carries on today. Whoever puts faith in the gospel of Jesus receives the Holy Spirit, though not necessarily in the same way as it happened in the first century when many visible signs followed. The Holy Spirit plays an essential role in a Christian's life. It is through the Spirit that one can appropriate God's promises in Jesus by accepting Him as the Lord and Savior. As Peter said on the day of the Pentecost, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. Acts chapter 2 verse 38, 39, further, it is the Holy Spirit, co-equal with God the Father and God the Son, as per the doctrine of Trinity, who keeps Christians as he indwells in them. Pentecost also underlines the importance of the church in God's work. God sent the Holy Spirit to Jesus' disciples on an occasion when they were all together in one place. And what followed was the building of a community, a model community. Acts chapter 2 verses 42 to 47 says, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common.